As editors, we sometimes encounter parts of our footage that need to be affected or obscured, and we can isolate these areas by using masks. We previously saw that we can animate masks, and while they are relatively simple to set up on static images or shots, animating a mask to move with a piece of footage can be a bit more cumbersome. In this movie, we'll take a look at how to simplify this a bit by tracking a mask. So here's a common scenario you might run into as an editor. You have a piece of footage that in the shot you've got a logo or something that you can't show that you don't have the clearance to show, and you need to obscure it somehow. And so what a typical workflow for this might be to blur it or add a mosaic effect to it. Here we can do that by adding a mask and tracking it. So you might do it by hand. You might think that, oh, that's a whole tedious process. Let's create a mask and track it by hand. But fortunately, After Effects has a means for us to be able to do this more or less automatically. Let's go ahead and select our layer, switch over to the pen tool. And I'm going to come up here to 100% so I can view this a little bit easier. And I'm going to go ahead and start drawing out a simple mask. I'll click and drag as I go, kind of round out those corners and around this corner here. And we'll close it up. Okay. And just like any other mask, it hides what's outside the mask, shows what's inside the mask. In this case, I'm going to revert this mode back to none. And I'll zoom back out. And here, with our mask one selected, let's right click. And you'll see that track mask is available for us. It'll open up the tracker panel, and within this dropdown, you'll see that all these different methods, these algorithms that After Effects is going to use to analyze the footage and move our mask accordingly. I'm going to select position, scale, and rotation for this one, and let's go ahead and zoom out our timeline, and let's go ahead and track forward. So even as the logo gets thrown off the screen there, After Effects is doing a pretty good job of keeping that mask tracked along with the logo. So let's go ahead and create our blur effect. Let's under effects and presets, type in blur. Let's scroll down and grab our trusty Gaussian blur. Add that to layer one. And let's dial up the blurriness to maybe 20 or so. Let's just type that in. And of course, it's going to affect the entire image. And since we don't want that, we want to limit it and reference mask one. So. Twirling down, we go to Effects, we'll twirl down to Gaussian Blur, and down here under Compositing Options, we can add the mask reference and tell it to reference Mask 1. But because we had previously turned this off, this mode, we'll set the mode back to Add, and now we have a mask that follows along with that logo. And we can certainly feather this out and make it a little prettier here, make it nice and neat by feathering it out. And as we preview through, you can see that with just a couple clicks, we're able to mask out or obscure the logo that's on the hat. Let's go ahead and move to the second example, and you'll see what else we can do with this mask tracker. I've got this interview with this lady here, and for some reason, maybe she needs to have her face obscured. And we can do that by simply creating a mask around her face. So with that layer one selected, we have the pen tool here. Let's go ahead and rough in an area around her face like so. And again, we will convert this mode back to none. And when we right click on the mask, track mask, under our tracker panel, we can come here and say face tracking outline only. And when we track forward, notice now how the four points or five points that we originally drew now get all these intermediate points. And After Effects is doing a pretty good job of outlining or tracking the outline of her face. So with literally just a couple clicks, we're able to have a mask kind of tracing around and following her face. And now if we wanted to obscure her identity, we can go with the classic mosaic look and drag that onto layer one. We want this to be kind of squares maybe. So I know that my footage is 1280 by 720, but as I do that, these Mosaic blocks are really, really tiny. So let's go ahead and do this. 1280 divided by, let's say 20, and 720 divided by 20 again. And so this will keep that relationship going. And we now have a square mosaic block that we can then tell mask one to reference or for the mosaic effect to reference mask one. So we'll twirl down mosaic, compositing options, we'll hit add to tell it to reference mask one. And when we switch our mode in mask one back to add, now we have 
nice looking mosaic effect around her face. So we can smooth that out a little bit, just feather that out a bit. And there we go. With just a handful of clicks, we're able to let After Effects do a lot of the heavy lifting for us in terms of getting a mask tracked along with our footage. 